Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheyenne Marie here. I am going to give you guys a cute, simple, beautiful, creative Pride look. I am using the color of the bisexual flag from Pride. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome babes. You're going to love this video and get you ready for the rest of Pride Month. Let's get into it. So I'm using the Afrik by Juvia's Place palette going in with the shade Bintu. It's just a really beautiful matte soft red. Um, I really do love this palette. I feel like it has a lot of good staples and colors you wouldn't typically find in other palettes or you'll find them in multiple palettes. So it's really good to have one good palette that has a diversity of color. Um, I am applying the shadow in kind of a tapping motion. I feel like this helps set the shape of my eye. Uh, sometimes you want a more bold and dramatic look or sometimes you just want to follow your natural eye shape. So I first tap it in and then I go ahead and blend out. I feel like this mo this method, excuse me, works really well when applying Juvia's Place uh, eyeshadows. It picks up a lot of the pigment. They're very pigmented. They're known for their pigmentation. They're known for their color payoff. Um, so I really find this method works for me when I apply my eyeshadows. I am applying Bintu as a transition just so I can go ahead and set the tone for my leader coming colors purple and blue which are a bit more deep so I want to make a beautiful soft transition in between and hopefully create a really good foundation to blend. So next I'm going into the shade Caddy from Oolala. La. It's a beautiful fun little palette by Colourpop. Um, I'm going to go use the same type of technique and apply it to my crease this time. But I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. Um, I apply a lot of product, but then it blends out super smooth so it doesn't look like it's too cakey. It's, there is little to no fallout. Um, this just helps with pigmentation. I feel this gives me an easier application. And the shades really do blend in really well together. ColourPop has an amazing formula with a lot of their palettes. And I feel like they just, it's easy. It's really, it blends like, like butter, I guess, if you could say. Next, I'm going back in with Bintu just to kind of blend out the two shades that I just applied. Um, I like to go back in with my transition shade. As you can see, it kind of melts in together. It kind of creates a really cute little blend and it won't be too harsh, uh, the crease that is. It's not going to be too bold. You know, you kind of want to soften it up a bit and hopefully blend it out. Next, I'm going into this beautiful blue shade. I can't say the name, but it's still from the same palette, the Afrik palette. Uh, this electric blue shade is really vibrant. It's a really fun color. I really love doing this look because it, the the if you don't know, the bisexual flag has three colors, blue, purple, and pink. It was created by an artist, I believe his name is Michael Page. And just because, you know, different sexual orientations have their own pride flag. You know, I learned this as of this year. I'm a part of a uh, Gay Street Alliance club at my school, and I just realized that certain sexualities have their own, you know, flag symbolizing their pride. So I thought that was really cool, giving visibility to uh, bisexuality as its own individual sexuality, um, instead of just grouping all these sexual orientations together. As you can see here with my blue shade, I just kind of used a flatter brush to apply it. Um, I didn't really go in with a blending motion. Now I'm blending, but I wanted to just go ahead and set that shape and then blend out. I wanted to set where I'm going to put the shadow and blend out from there. It holds true to its color. It blends in really well with the purple and it kind of deepens my, uh, my look gonna repeat what I did with Bintu. I'm gonna go in with Caddy this time and just kind of go over the blue. It'll help create a softer blend and add depth. You can see it kind of creates a little bit of a of a depth, I guess I could say, for lack of a better phrasing. But it creates depth to your eye and I feel like this will really make your look stand out, especially for a cut crease, which I am doing today. This will really set the tone for my cut crease. Now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Concealer, 
I believe this is the shade Cafe from the Fit Me Concealer Collection. And I just like to go in with a concealer over a eyelid primer just because I feel like concealer holds a bit better. And the step I'm doing here is I apply the concealer to the lowest part of my eyelid and then I look up because that's typically where you would want your crease to cut. And then you just apply the concealer from there. I learned that wonderful little hack from a beautiful Morphe babe at their Morphe University class. It's a free class that they offer at some Morphe locations where they teach you different makeup hacks and different makeup tricks. So that's where I got my little concealer trick from. Shout out to Morphe babes. And you don't have to be perfect, I feel, when cutting the crease. You know, I'm not a pro at it, as you guys see on my Instagram, Cheyenne Marie Beauty. That, you know, I have multiple attempts and I really do try and practice does make perfect. But doing it the step, the same step that I just did, applying the concealer to your eyelid and then looking up so that it hits your crease naturally, it really does set the tone. And this just makes for an easier application. You would typically want to go in a moon shape. So smoothing out my application here, I'm just perfecting the shape a bit more, just a little bit more defined. And applying that blue shade once again, I'm going to apply it onto a wet base. I am not setting the concealer. I'm going just straight in with the pigment. I feel like this sets it better. I feel like it just holds the, the product in place and it brings out the color a bit more. I just find that this works for me. I'm not sure if it's <laughs> the proper way of applying eyeshadow to a wet base, but I like it this way. It really does... Uh, hold up I'd say you know it gets that color payoff that I want going in with caddy and that'll be my second color right now I am recreating the bisexual flag directly onto my eyelid I don't believe it's typically in this exact order but I think it's really cute still When applying your shades to your eyelid, especially if you're doing a look like this, I feel like a flatter or a smaller brush really does help, just so you can get a little bit more um, precision and a easier application. Blend it out as high as you can to your cut crease. Going in with Big Sugar from the Ooh La La palette. That's this really beautiful, cute, kind of pink frosting shade here. That is going to be my final color that I'm adding to my eyelid and I'm just going to just pat it on. It's a really cute shimmer shade. And it's okay if you kind of overlap the shades because you're going to want an ombre effect anyway to help minimize the uh, harshness of the uh, shadows blending together. I'm going back in over the shades just so I can better perfect it now I'm going to go ahead and take all three colors that I used previously everything except big sugar that means I'm applying Bintu uh, the beautiful blue color and caddy to my lash line just so I can have a better it's a cute little blend. Everything's all nice and symmetrical. It, it overlays each other perfectly and mimics my uh, crease. I'm using just a bigger, fluffier <laughs> blending brush. I'm not sure the exact name of the brush, but it, this just helps blend everything together. I'm dragging out the blue just a little bit more to the outer corner of my eye. And for cleanup, I just use a makeup wipe. You can use concealer or a brush, but I feel like a wipe just gives me that really sharpness that I'm looking for. Applying Bentu above the crease. Now I'm gonna take a smaller, flatter brush. I'm just gonna go into my inner corner tear ducts. I'm using this beautiful shade Moonstruck. I don't know why I swatch so hard, you guys. I'm so sorry. 
My sister really hates that. <laughs> Before this video ends, I really just want to give you guys a little fun fact, a little history lesson on the reason why Pride Month is what it is today. Uh, when this video uploads, it will be the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots, typically, or essentially they were a riot based in New York um, in the uh, Greenwich Village, I believe, where Stonewall was just kind of like a, a place, a bar where people of the LGBTQ community frequented and they were just able to be themselves and be a community but at the time the reason why the Stonewall riots are what they were is because I guess they were having police raids by a kind of moral squad of and um, of New York City at the time moral squad really wanted to crack down on the LGBTQ community and they said no we are not having a baby we are here to stay so that kick started a whole riot I believe it was about a day or so but that's why we have our beautiful civil rights now and we've come so far as a community and we just got to keep making strives towards greatness. We have to keep bringing visibility to sexual identity and sexual orientation and being comfortable with ourselves because there was people before us that worked really hard to get us to where we are today. So thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for supporting and I really hope you guys end this month with a beautiful bang and just be yourself baby because you're born this way Mwah. bye